start there was a strange middle and there was a proper end to this character not just this character every character but with my character I was very happy here vijay is a master class i'll tell you what he uh, he's like not he he's not like my buddy buddy i would say but he is like a teacher Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to Time TV. Today we have Sugana Mukherjee with us. We are currently seeing her on Salpoo as Shivani. Welcome to Time TV, Sugana. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Sugana. It's great talking to you. I'm very excited about this talk. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show, by the way. Yes, I have. I binge yeah. watched it in one night because I couldn't stop in between and wait for next day. I was like, I have to finish it off. at one go oh my god <laughs> you were amazing that made me really happy lots to talk about so spoilers alert for those who haven't watched the show yet uh um, yes yeah let's start with uh, sugada tell us the comments that are coming your way ever since the show released Well, uh, it's been quite overwhelming because I've not been very active on social media for the past two, three years because I kind of stopped acting in between. I started writing. I uh, joined in a. Um, I joined like started doing a job. I worked at a studio at a post production studio for some time, and I did everything basically other than acting for a while. And even this came to me because the writer and the director of the show. I was working with him on a writing project. So when this show finally got green green lit and I auditioned for it and I finally got Shivani I was not really expecting much because I've been there for a while I know bahut baar you know aapka role bhi kat jata hai by the time the actual thing comes out and I knew my character was not a part of the central plot of the show so I was not really sure how will it be received and how so i was keeping an open mind i was not uh, getting too carried away that you know this big show is coming up and all of that but since i think especially jab se third or fourth episode I, fourth episode i think jab se release hua uske baad se it's been very overwhelming like so many messages poured in i've been contacted by medical professionals who work in icu who actually deal with uh, you know kids going through these kind of things on a daily basis and they told me it looked so real we wanted to like go there and stabilize you like it felt like it came out of me that you know kuch to like it was so real for them some of the things that i portrayed and that also came from a place because it was a big responsibility in a way there are certain things in the show that i had to portray you can't just do them in a willingly just how you imagine them probably because it's unfair a people live with these kind of things b uh, it comes with a lot of restrictions this kind of life whoever lives and deals with these kind of things it comes with a lot of restrictions in your life you can't drive you can't swim you can't do so many things already and i'm very glad that uh, the director of the show sumit saxena although he's been living with the script since 2017 apparently the first draft was written in 2017 and it finally happened now so uh, he was so clear like even on set he was so clear what he wanted exactly from each and every character but he was also open to suggestions and there were certain things that he incorporated almost immediately the moment we started discussing my character further like for example there was a scene initially where i kind of ride a bike so that was immediately cut off because i was like someone like me will not be doing that because it's like a weapon in my hand i cannot just hurt myself i can hurt people around me if something goes off so yeah and i think it's it's really nice that all the all this effort is finally appreciated and people are not getting offended but actually appreciating the fact that i tried my level best although i still you know as an actor you only touch the surface as an artist it's it's still you know no matter how much you try to get into the mind frame and the physicality of it all at the end of the day when i go home i get to be susanna i get to be normal again but as an artist you can only touch the surface to a certain extent but 
even that if that is enough and that is appreciated and i've been getting poured in i mean i, I don't think my page has had more traction in years than it has right now you know i'm not even like it's it's crazy like every time i just scroll through it there'll be like at least 50 messages 60 dms and i'm trying to get through all of them but yeah it's sometimes impossible and that's why i like literally i sang a song few days back just to show my gratitude because i was like i'm sorry if i'm not uh, getting through everyone personally but uh, yeah i'm very very thankful and very grateful that this has worked the way it has worked for sure like you already touched on uh, the fact of how seriously this character was supposed to be taken you know sensitize it uh, The way so that it doesn't feel very childish. Uh, when this character yeah, yeah. was uh, given to you, like, what were you thinking? Like, how were you taking it in mentally to prepare for it? Uh, I don't know if I'm you. Uh, uh, actually, I'm allowed to use the word, but I was shit scared. my first feeling once once you get it see you're not that scared because you've been auditioning for a while and you're used to getting rejected sometimes getting accepted and you go through that process so many times that till the time you don't have it is when the reality seeps in that you are going to be this person and i think this was the first time where i was playing a character which was which had absolutely no shade of real me in it you know the way shivani was उसका मतलब आई आई कुडेंट रिलेट ऑन अ पर्सनल लेवल टू एनी थिंग दैट शिवानी वॉज डूइंग इन दिस शो बी एट द वे शी वॉज लेटिंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स गो वेन इट केम टू अ मैन हु वॉज ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ रिजेक्टिंग हर टू यू नो बी ओके विद अ लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स दैट अ गर्ल शुडेंट बी ओके विद in a position that she is शी इज अ प्रिटी गर्ल शी इज एजुकेटेड शी वर्क एंड डिस्पाइट ऑफ दैट देर आर सर्टन थिंग्स दैट बिकॉज ऑफ द सोसाइटी बिकॉज ऑफ I think her own psyche and her own lack of confidence and lack of security uh, in her own life. उसकी वजह से वो बहुत सारी चीजें बर्दाश्त कर रही थी बहुत टाइम से. तो वो चीजें समझने में और उसको करने में थोड़ा सा डर definitely लगा था. I was a little scared, but uh, I think the more I had enough time. I think the uh, from the time I got Shivani, we started shooting after two months. of actually getting the part so i had enough time to go through as much research as i needed to do and kind of had time to seep into it and plus i had like the support of some of the best actors around me and i think a performance is never one, one person's performance it's always a give and take between you know the actors that you're working with and that that's when i realized when i came on set that it's not just me who's doing something very different from who she is it's every character if you've seen kalkut vijay is doing something he has never done before you know we are so used to seeing him as the bad guy killing raping and abusing and doing all that jazz so he is like the good guy and he was so good at it he was so natural he was so supportive even as an actor as a co-actor then seema ji who you know i've known her from bandit queen khamoshi we've seen her doing some of the most amazing but very intense character she was like this cute little like you know the cutest person on set and she's actually in real life quite nice like i was i think the most intimidated initially thinking work, uh, that i would be working with seema ji but she was also playing something very different from what she used to but she was damn good and she was very supportive same goes with other actors although i didn't have much screen space with them so i wouldn't have much to say about that but i think all the casting was one of the most uh intrinsic part of why kalkut is what it is today because everybody has done something different and they've done it to the best of what they can do to the best of their ability for sure i mean kalkut being a crime thriller you know it, it had less violence but it was a crime that made people think throughout and it impactful and when we had already seen what is happening in the show and then your character was introduced in this temple scene and i was like what's her character scope like why is she like this like like this like the way she is behaving and then slowly slowly it unfolds and you know we also get to see a playful and flirty side of you you know with the yeah. uh, with the character uh, like how was that developing 
team uh, between you and the like uh, the ice breaking moment uh, tell us a bit about it uh see uh, the way i approached shivani was uh even if you see the first introductory scene when i come in khara re the song for some reason she's staring up but you don't know why and in my head like because in the screenplay it was just written that you know and uh, the last scene shivani stare drop uh, which like you know you see tear dropping for no what reason you don't know and what my interpretation of that part was that she's been through this grind so many times already she must have been rejected again and again and again and again so when this new thing comes her way when she goes and she gets hugged by his uh, dadi she is like okay fir se shuru karna padega you know i have to start this whole ordeal once again but this time she is a bit more older a bit more wiser so she decides you know what i'm not going to open with this let me feel the guy up let me see if he is worth it first and i think in the all the scenes that you know slowly she is meeting and developing a certain kind of she's flirting with him is also because she's developing a certain uh i wouldn't say love but definitely a kind of respect and a kind of friendship that she sees that oh no you know this man could understand maybe this time it will be different so there's this hope that comes with the way shivani and ravi's uh, relationship develops and if you'll see i don't know if it comes across but there are so many places where i try to uh, incorporate the fact that she's almost about to maybe tell him but ya to wo baat kaat deta hai ya to even even in that scene before that she asks him क्या आपकी नाइट ड्यूटी है आज बिकॉज मे बी इन सम वे इन हर हेड शी इज थिंकिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल हिम फाइनली आई थिंक यू नो ही इज रेडी टू लिसन टू इट बट बिफोर शी कैन एक्चुअली टेल हिम थिंग्स गो रॉन्ग सो आई थिंक दैट वॉज जस्ट समथिंग दैट एंड आई सी फिट इन माई फैमिली ऑल्सो लाइक यू नो आई कम फ्रॉम अ वेरी स्मॉल टाउन इन भिलाई एंड uh we see it a lot especially with uh, women who are not uh, very who have some kind of phys- physical uh, problem or some kind of you know maybe educational background is not that strong unko problem hoti hai aur bahut hi choti choti cheezon ki wajah se bahut bari rejection face karna hota hai so i think i incorporated that ki agar mere sath bhi hota jabki main kabhi us चीज में पढ़ी नहीं हूँ अब तक थैंकफुली आई नेवर बिन थ्रू दैट थिंग आई स्टार्टेड लिविंग ऑन माई ओन फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ एटीन फ्रॉम द टाइम आई शिफ्टेड टू पूना फॉर माई एजुकेशन सो बट आई आई सीन इट अप क्लोज एंड आई सीन द हर्ट एंड द लैक ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस दैट इट स्लोली क्रिएट्स इन यू एंड आई थिंक दैट सेंस ऑफ नॉट बींग श्योर and being a little agitated and anxious about it constantly i think that that helped with the character there are few things that she's always even in her laugh there's a certain anxiousness if you'll see in shivani's like the way she laughs even the way she flirts wo flirt karne ke baad sochti hai zyada to nahi ho gaya it's always a back and forth with her maine zyada to nahi bol diya and because she is a pretty girl she's obviously educated she's seen some life there are places where she dumps herself down when she is talking to ravi you know there's this uh, thing where she says you know machhar phat jate hain you know that's a nonsensical thing to say because <laughs> but a part of her wants to appear to be like a dumb blonde because shayad ye usko appeal kar jaye you know i don't want to impose myself or c- come out as someone who's uh, too good for him which he feels in the beginning he feels oh my god this girl is too good for me like why the hell is she so interested so i think there were these small little things uh, not all incorporated by me obviously there were some beautiful lines given by sumit also and the way he had just structured shivani she was not like the normal usual heroine or someone you know on the side ek love track chal raha hai waisa bilkul nahi tha there was a start there was a strange middle and there was a proper end to this character and not just this character every character but with my character I was very happy that uh there was a lot of subtext in everything that shivani was doing and i think throughout playing shivani i tried 
to be as honest to that subtext more than the words that i was saying so yeah i think i said more like that at all <laughs> anyway so this video you posted uh, of the moment uh, where you feel the way your character broke uh, the kitchen scene uh uh that said and like i want to know that how many details or how much time did you take to you know incorporate that scene in your uh, in your own space i'll tell you very honestly we only shot it twice there were two takes and one take was from one angle which was a little far away where I, half of my body was covered by the dining table and there was one which was closer right here so we did one one take each in a way and it did, didn't require much because i had rehearsed for it a day ek do din pehle se i was tr- uh, trying out the physicality i had sent them a video also i shot myself to let them know exactly what was happening and plus vijay's house the place we were shooting vijay's house wala whole scene in uh that was i don't know i'm not a internal joke tha, that was a war zone it was a war zone because it was a very small house and we had a huge crew and it was in the middle of a market area so there was no place to keep your vanity so there was not even a room where you could sit in the ac and you know and it was like this i think it was like very hot at the time it's banaras you know how banaras can get it gets very hot and humid and uh, this was like basically most of our makeup would be coming off you know it was like really hot everybody was like actually suffering and especially the actors because they constantly needed retouch and everything तो हमारा हमेशा यही प्लान होता था जो भी तैयारी करनी है पहले से कर लो बिकॉज वहां जाके यू कांट कीप डूइंग रीटेक्स बिकॉज इट विल ओनली यू नो एफ अप आर परफॉर्मेंस एंड द होल मोड एंड इट विल वील एंड अप वेस्टिंग मोर टाइम बिकॉज ऑफ द टच अप्स दैट गो इन बिटवीन शॉर्ट्स इफ यू कीप डूइंग रीटेक्स एंड दिस वॉज सच अ फिजिकली डिमांडिंग शॉर्ट फॉर मी बिकॉज आई डोंट नो इफ और इसलिए मैं पूरी छोटी सी जगह थी तो हम लोग पूरी तरह से शूट भी नहीं कर पाए यू कैन सी ओनली हाफ ऑफ माय बॉडी ऑल दो आई वाज वर्किंग थ्रू आउट लाइक इवन माय लेग्स वर अप इन द एयर देर वाज टेंशन थ्रू आउट एंड आई एंड देर वाज सेवरल स्टेजेस दैट यू गो थ्रू व्हेन यू स्टार्ट गेटिंग अ सीजर यू बेसिकली यू नो इट स्टार्ट्स बिकॉज इट इट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम योर ब्रेन राइट देयर इज अ पॉइंट इन योर ब्रेन वेयर दिस होल थिंग स्टार्ट्स सो यू फर्स्ट स्टार्ट योर आईज गो ऑन द साइड और दे स्टार्ट फिक्सेटिंग देन योर माउथ स्टार्ट्स मूविंग देन इट स्लोली goes down it progresses towards the, uh, basically and spreads through the body and that's when you get a proper seizure so uh, i was in fact all of us were little disappointed that we couldn't shoot it in fact properly because there was bahut bahut chho, thoda kam time tha and we could we couldn't just find the proper angle because wo kitchen hi itna chhota sa tha so yeah but then again i think it doesn't matter it's okay like how it gets shot or how it doesn't get shot we all tried our best and it, that was genuinely one of the most difficult shoots that we ever did considering the kind of place the kind of uh things we were given because even i think vijay was like i mean aise shoot kabhi nahi kiya like once i finished finished the shoot i need like a one month break from everything <laughs> because everyone was just so exhausted and tired although not me like i had what i had what 10 days of shoot maybe and that too like teen din up teen din 20 din baad teen din uske baad to mera fir bhi kafi normal tha because main aati thi chali jati thi i would get enough time to recuperate and uh, get back in the zone but for vijay for yashpal ji they were constantly there they were working without a break so yeah like if they could do it so could i <laughs> the, all of us especially in ravi's house all of us tried to do everything in one take even our that scene jo hamara ek shot mein scene hai hamara pehla jab hum baat karte hain uske ghar pe jab wo nail polish dekhta hai meri that entire scene was one take we didn't take another shot because we were already getting so late and behind with the other scenes we were like khatam karte hain i don't know i just came out very naturally like i think we did enough workshops we, uh, and Also, uh, Sumit worked enough with every character for them to know exactly करना क्या है आपको ताकि बाद में जाके कोई confusion ना हो Once your blocking is done, just do your job and and finish it off. And I think that was a great thing that you know uh, all the actors and all uh, and the all the makers, all the the entire team was in sync. It was in sync throughout. नहीं तो ये shoot पूरा नहीं हो पाता. It was quite an adventurous one. In fact, खारा रे जब हम shoot कर रहे थे. Uh, 
और जो मेरा इंट्रो सीन था लाइक वो जो मेरा एक फैन होता है और उसके एग्जैक्टली पंद्रह मिनट बाद वहां दंगा शुरू हो गया था लाइक वी हैड टू रन फॉर आर लाइफ लाइक इट वॉज दैट बैड बिकॉज समथिंग वेंट ऑफ समबडी समोकल केम एंड ही वॉन्टेड टू थ्रैश समबडी इन द ऑन द सेट और फिर सब भागने लगे सो दे वो अलॉड ऑफ थिंग्स दैट वो गोइंग रॉन्ग We were literally running, shooting, running, shooting in a lot of places. But uh, I think as long as it turns out well, it's all worth it. And uh, how was it uh, acting with Vijay? Yeah, Vijay is a master class. I'll tell you what. He uh, he's like not he he's not like my buddy buddy. I would say. बट ही इज लाइक अ टीचर लाइक ए ही लव्स टू इम्प्रोवाइज वो जो वर्कशॉप में करता था उसका कुछ उल्टा ही करता था जब एक्चुअल टेक होता था एंड एंड आई लाइक दैट अबाउट हिम बिकॉज ही रियली अंडरस्टैंड द इन्वायरमेंट दैट ही वर्क इन और मुझे वो चीज उसकी आई थिंक मैंने उससे सीखी भी है दैट ऑलवेज नो एवरी सिंगल थिंग दैट इज आउट देर वॉट कैन यू यूज हाउ कैन यू यूज द स्पेस प्रॉपरली एंड जस्ट बी ready and here most importantly here because if you just keep stressing on mujhe kya karna hai mujhe kya karna hai tum dusre ko sunna bhool jate ho bahut bar ki wo kya kar raha hai so be present here and know how to use your environment very well so as you can now understand he was more like a yeah he was my master class basically in acting that's what he was <laughs> and he by the way he ran away yeah, when i was doing that epileptic scene He did his part side and he was like मैं जा रहा हूँ मेरे को देखना नहीं है I'm too scared to watch that he he ran away <laughs> because I think he had seen my um, rehearsal video so he was like नहीं नहीं तू कर मैं जा रहा हूँ and he left that was like the last scene that we shot and we packed up after that you said that he ran away I'm thinking that maybe he gave you that space to for you to perform it your own way. या 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 नो बट ही वॉज बेसिकली उसे वो नहीं था हमारा जो वन ऑफ द एडीज वॉज वॉकिंग ऑन द पोस्ट ऑल्सो जब डी आई वगैरह चल रहा था शो का तो उसने सिर्फ उस सीन के बारे में बोला कि सुमित इसका डी आई आप देख लो मुझे वो सीन ही नहीं देखना है लाइक दे वॉज सो स्केड एंड इट वॉज इवोकिंग सो मेनी स्ट्रेंज काइंड ऑफ इमोशन दैट सीन की उन लोगों ने मतलब पोस्ट में भी नहीं देखा कि आप देख लो ये वाला पार्ट बस आप देख लो बाकी मैं देख लूंगा so it's it's also about yeah like how, maybe that's a compliment because it looked so real that probably their heart went out to me <laughs> while i was doing it and that's why they just couldn't live through it again and again and again so yeah and uh, so then i want to ask you that uh, you have been a part of the showbiz like for many years now since roadies i have seen your married woman diaries as well Uh, it was oh really? Part of the world acting, and then said that uh, you quit acting and you were working on like writing and stuff like that. Um, do you feel that with this show, the recognition that an actor aspires uh, has finally come in all this? Yeah, absolutely. Because this is the first time that I'm getting any kind of, uh, you know, appreciation. And on top of it, eyeballs also. ऐसा नहीं है कि मैंने पहले बहुत खराब काम किया था or something. But it was just it worked out the way कि या तो picture release होती थी किसी को पता भी नहीं चलता था. I did a lot of indie films before with independent producers, and it's hard to release such movies, you know, on a large scale where people will actually go watch it. तो या तो उनको आई बॉल्स नहीं मिलती जैसे मैरिड वुमेन डायरीज ऑन पेपर आई लव इट लाइक एज अ कैरेक्टर इट सीम लाइक वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फन थिंग्स दैट आई हैड एवर डन बट इट आई डोंट नो वो टाइम शायद अलग था तब इतना लोग वेब शोज देखते नहीं थे यू नो दीज चैनल्स वर नॉट एज पॉपुलर एज दे आर टूडे पोस्ट पेंडेमिक स्पेशली सो अब लोगों ने देखना शुरू किया शायद अब आता मैरिड वुमेन डायरीज तो इट वुड हैव बीन वे मोर पॉपुलर देन यू नो Sometimes your timing ka issue ho jata hai. Sometimes your luck doesn't go like things don't go your way, and and that's why I said even with this show, I was like at a fence because I was like, let's see, let it come out. I don't want to get excited about it to be honest because I've been through this uh, process again and again where you hope and then you know it doesn't work out and then you're like offered some crap work which you don't want to do and I was very. very very uh, clear about one thing that i wouldn't settle at least when it comes to acting i would rather not act 
then just do anything for the sake of it so if something great comes my way great if not then i'll do something else it's not like you know i'm an educated girl i i like other forms of art you know um i like singing i like writing i like to do a lot of things that's like if i have to be a part of this industry I, there are other ways i can be a part of it in and i still feel i want to be a producer one day i want to produce things that i want to produce and make stories that i want to tell so uh, that is still there that is at the backdrop that i want to do but if uh meanwhile i can get some great work because of this that is all i can hope for because this is the first time that i'm not just approached by random people on social media but it's also people in the industry who are approaching for representation or other things you know to kind of push me forward and this has never happened to me before so i'm like phuk phuk ke kadam rakh rahi hu let's see <laughs> so lal i don't want it to get to my head because it's it's still a very small thing in the big picture it is it's just a beginning in a way it can some some may call it a second inning but most people don't know me so it's just a beginning for me so let's see how it goes and i would definitely want uh, this to basically convert into some better work and more work so i'll definitely try for that and yeah yeah <laughs>